When you're sending Bitcoin to someone, it settles. You can't get it back. Which means if they were being fraudulent, or they had a bad reputation, or something like that, and you didn't know in time, and you send it out, you're probably never seeing that Bitcoin again. Uh, $5 million was lost to Bitcoin Savings and Trust when it revealed that they were running a Ponzi scheme. So how do we make Bitcoin safe for civilians? How do we say instead, when someone loses Bitcoin, not, you know, had you done it this way or had you done it this way, with really sophisticated uh, advice, you could be safe. But how do you instead say, the normal ways of using Bitcoin are safe from these normal problems? <coughs> reduce theft, reduce fraud, reduce counterparty risk, ecosystem-wide. We've developed a solution, we're calling it hierarchical deterministic multi-signature wallets. You've seen a lot of people who have implemented multi-signature in the past, but generally they're talking about a single address. And that's not actually very user friendly, it's not actually very private, and people don't do that. So we've developed a system where you can use an entire wallet with many, many addresses, and they all have the same multi-signature relationship between three computers. We've also developed a service that holds one of these keychains that decides when to countersign based on things like how big is the transaction? Does the payee have a reputation? Um, what, what's your normal transaction volume? Things like that. And then we'll make a decision as to whether to provide the second signature. So your wallet provides the first, and we can countersign transactions like the second signature and a check. I'd like to show you guys a demo. This is a fork of Electrum. We implemented an Electrum in what was it, eight days? And we can implement it in any wallet and any exchange to do the same thing. I'm going to create a new wallet. So it takes a little bit to think. What it's actually doing here is it's creating an entire HD wallet full of multi-signature addresses. And so you'll see the Ryan demo is the new account that we just created. And what should pop up in just a second, bingo. You notice these addresses start with a three instead of a one. The reason is because they're paid to script hash transaction addresses. So when you pay these addresses to respend it, you'll need two out of three signatures from these three keychains. One keychain is in this wallet. It's actually this keychain right here. Another keychain is on a paper backup that would be in your safe, but in this case is in Neuron safe. And the third keychain is our digital oracle service that makes decisions on whether or not to sign a wallet. I'm going to send a little bit of Bitcoin to this wallet, and then we're going to try to respend it. So here we have some Bitcoin in this wallet now, and we're going to send it back. And you'll notice, because we're sending it all back, this transaction is kind of a risky transaction because it's emptying the entire wallet. And remember, this is a prototype, it's a demo, so the text that we have in these warnings is, is still technical, it describes what's going on. Um, the text here will be much more user friendly in any wallet that we integrate with. I'm getting a phone call on my phone. Trying to spend 10 mil of ETC to accept press one. If you did not initiate this transaction and you suspect your wallet was compromised, press nine. To cancel, press three. Transaction approved. 